Hi everyone, welcome back to Stationeers Venus Season 3. This is uh, episode 21. Now I kind of just uh, ran over here. My oxygen is almost 47 degrees. Um, turn this off, turn this off quick before this heats up too much. I know it can't heat up too much. Uh, this, this needs cooling pronto, as fast as possible. Because um, remember I emptied, I started running my filtration system. Um, at the moment I'm emptying this, there's nothing but H2 left in this system, but I, I need more pipes obviously. But uh, yeah, my oxygen is way, way, way too hot. I, I'm not going to want to breathe that. I can buff this up, that's fine. But uh, yeah, I can't add to this pipe until this cools down. And uh, yeah, that stuff up I made right at the end of the last episode, oh, 95 degree CO2. It's a, a big problem, a big problem. Uh, it's going to take a long time to cool this, so I hope I don't have to make food in a while. Now, uh, we have a, a big issue with uh, water, and uh, we can't really... Well, I don't really want to make my water. I mean, I can make it, but I don't want to until I have my atmospherics complete. And, yeah, the, I mean, I don't need to. I could just make it right now, but... Uh, It'd be nice if I could make the solder and then flush it while it's still cool. And that way I don't have like super hot gases. And I don't, I don't want to mix. Like the big problem is currently my filtration system, my main line is filled with 367 degree hydrogen. And I don't want to mix my furnace gases with that, particularly if they're only like 100 degrees. Because that'll heat it up. Eventually, I want a big chunk of nitrogen, which I'll get from the water, but I don't want to be able to, I don't want to cool 300 degree nitrogen down to 20 degrees so I can stick it in my base. I, w I want it to be much, much cooler than that. I know I've already got a lot of really hot nitrogen, but if I can mix cold nitrogen with it, it'll, it'll make cooling it much easier, much less power required, much less time sitting there waiting for it to cool. So that, that's the idea. Okay, so I'm just banging out a stack of pipes right now. Waste tank caution. All my waste tanks are having problems. I don't want to stick them in there till the hydrogen's out, though. I'm going to just keep shuffling these, I think. Or maybe I might segregate this so I can... I don't know. No, I can't do that either. So I'm in a rush here. I'm in a bit of a, bit of a rush. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip up all these pipes. It should be fine for me to do that. It won't it won't destroy any gases. In fact, the if I rip it up, mm, where where are the pipes going to go? There's one straight down the middle. Yeah, th this should be okay because I want to keep that pipe in place. So I'm going to rip them up like this. This is just forcing the hydrogen back into my tank. I hope. <laughs> It should be. Now I've got a, I've got 220 moles in there, and I've got um, 284 moles floating around in there, and I have a bunch of pink pipes now, which is good. Now um, what we need is we need a filtration system on this edge here. So we get a filtration system. We want it to point that way, and we're going to do this. And now, just like with the other setups, we want an air conditioner like this. This should be fine. This should be okay. This, uh, hopefully, that pipe's not in the way. Um, so one thing we're going to do is we're going to hook this around. We're going to stick in the two volatiles filters. We're not going to run it yet, of course. Um, yeah, and this is going to be a uh, heat. There we go. Oh God! Oh God! It's going to waste my water. When you when you overheat, you rip through your water very quickly. Um, so we'll just get this up like this. Yeah, there we go. And uh, the heat is connected. That's good. Um, I'm not going to be air conditioning stuff just yet. So I don't have to think about the heavy cabling. Um, but I will be at some point. I'll have to solve that little problem of how I, how I cable it all up. And basically, this is just going to be a repeat of, um, of this for now. For now, I might stick a, a volume pump here at some point um, and choose how much I'm going to cool at once. 
Okay, we're going to chuck this here. We're going to chuck this here. We're not going to have enough pipes for this. So uh, let's, uh, let's just split some of these off. I didn't split enough, did I? I was close. Split one. Um, and is that all I need for now? Yep. Hydration critical. And my waste tank's about to go through the roof again. Okay, so this is all set up. I can now get the hydrogen out of this line. And then I'll be able to empty my waste tanks. And then I'll be able to make water. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so this should be just... Okay, no, that's not going to bring it out. I've forgotten something very important. Power. i got to cable it all up. Oh, gosh, what? You guys seeing this? Um, game should not be doing that. I don't know why it does. Choppy play. Okay, so here we go. Now we turn this on, and all the hydrogen will finally be pulled out of that pipe. And we should have a an awesome filtration system. In fact, it's all out already. And it's all in here and here. I got about 500 moles of hydrogen. It's quite cool. I can also like stick more in anytime I want by just dumping um, volatiles, you know, dumping the pink ices into, into my system. And it will just get sucked straight in. But anyway, this is now completely empty. So I can go and, oh gosh, this air conditioner. These air conditioners are just wrecking my batteries. Um, yeah, we'll go with this one next. There we go. Keep cooling. Keep cooling. Uh, what's my O2 down to? This is what I'm most concerned about is my O2 temperature. <clears throat> it's getting there. It's getting there. I want it down to 20 degrees. I don't want to turn this back on until this is like 20 degrees. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's empty a bunch of waste tanks. Oh, gosh. That's fine, right? These are all on. Good. Um, good. We'll swap that for that so I don't overheat. I'm, oh, it doesn't matter if I overheat. I'm already out of water. I'm dying of thirst, as usual. This is going to dump a lot of oxygen, though, in my tank, which is good. Yep, unfortunately, it's almost 50 degree oxygen. Uh, I, I don't, yeah, it's too hot. Um, okay, I, I'm going to need to drink soon. I can let my life go down like another 8% or so. I left this on. Why did I leave this on? Is there anything in there? There's nothing in there. Um, do I have any, like, stuff? Yes, that's right. Uh, water's, water's next. Okay, I've actually got all this set up ready to go. I haven't, I haven't done this. And my filtration system is all set up ready to go. So all the all the gases will get sucked into this filtration system. I should have nitrous in here. Uh, nitrogen in there. Very hot nitrogen. I'm hoping I can put colder nitrogen in there with it. There's my X. There's my H2. There's my O2. There's my CO2. All good. All good. Both these batteries are now dead. Why is it chewing through my battery power so quickly? These air conditioners are just... They're, they're just so power hungry. I think it chews through a lot, a lot slower. Well, I know it chews through a lot slower if I make the, the heat pipe much colder in temperature. So what, one of the problems is my heat tank is is that hot, and that's what's causing the, the huge, um, the huge power draw of two air conditioners like that. Out of curiosity, before I do this ice run, what is my CO2 down to? 93 degrees. It's taking a very long time. My oxygen is 45 degrees and dropping. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Um, let's do this ice. Okay. So all I really need for this ice is I need my furnace evacuated. It is. Cool. Um, basically, I'm just going to dump ice straight in there and then hit the button. And that'll melt the ice. And then as the temperature and then heats up with atmospheric temperature it'll melt the rest of the ice and it'll get sucked straight into my water tank here I can go and turn that on and uh, we're going to stick all this in now um, I'm not going to suck the gases out straight away I'm going to process my lead and my iron
first. Uh, that'll start processing at 100. As, as it's processing, it'll keep it at 100. Then I should be able to drop down, pull the solder out, and then suck the gases out. And the gases going into my filtration system will be 100 degrees, uh, and it'll, it'll be rising like from 100. By the time it's finished sucking out, it'll be like 150. But that's a lot better than 400 degree gases. Okay, so this is going, this is on. I can go and stick the first batch of ice in. This will do nothing. It'll just sit in my furnace until I activate this button, which I know you can reach from here, but uh, it's not being cooperative. Uh, really, you have to activate just a few, and it should all the rest should melt on its own. And I just need to drag this ice into there. There we go. And this will activate all this. Yeah, the temperature in there is like zero. It's all getting sucked into here, and I'll have like 10 degree water. I'll probably have like 15 degree water by the end of it all. Um, there's still plenty of water in there, but as you can see, there's nitrogen. It's starting to heat up fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck my lead in first. Uh, this won't process. It'll just sit in the machine, not processing. But as soon as the temperature gets to 100 degrees Celsius, it'll start to process. And uh, yeah, we ended up with like 4 degree water in the end. 5 degree? I don't know. It'd be like 4.5 degrees. So when this gets to 100, it'll start processing, and the act of processing will cool it down once again. So it's, it's now processing, and see, it's releasing a ton of other gases. Every time it ticks over 100, it processes a little bit more, which cools it down and then heats it up, and oh, let's get the iron processed. And when this gets to 100, uh, yeah, so when this fully processes, I can pull out my solder straight away. Yep, thank you. There's my solder. I'll just let that go. And let's just evacuate this thing and get that 100 degree nitrogen into my tank. So um, as you can see, it's going to rise fast, sucking it out. Now it's 140, or what's left of it anyway. Oh gosh, yeah, the last little bits are going to be like almost 300 degrees. When there's not much in there, it, it heats up really, really fast like crazy. Okay, so I've got a bunch of solder now, which is going to go in this machine. I can do a bunch of things with that. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking about is I might actually go vertical with my um, my greenhouse. I'm thinking of having an elevator in my greenhouse, which would be pretty cool. Uh, the, the downside of that, of course, is that it's, it takes up space and eats up more CO2. If I had 30,000 moles of CO2 that was cool, I'd, I'd probably do something like that, an elevator greenhouse, and just have the different levels. It'll look really awesome. Uh, particularly with all the grow lights in there and at night time you just see this tower that's growing. I want to see something like that. I just don't have enough CO2 to do it. Um, I, might, I don't know, I might do something like that on one of my other wool runs where I'm not, I'm not using vacuum cooling maybe. But, you know, where I'm not... Uh, where I'm using vacuum cooling and I get free cooling. So, so I don't have to, like, you know, I'll eventually get to the stage where I could do that just by pure brute force, but there's just so much grinding you have to do. Makes the game less fun. For me, anyway. Mainly because the terrain doesn't update. Y you guys don't see, but when I'm out mining, I, um, I'll mine, like, a bunch of the ground up, and then I'll pause the game, and I'll go off for, like, 10 minutes with the game pause, and I'll come back. And then it's updating, I'll mine a bunch more, then I'll go to a new spot, and I'll repeat the process. So th those end of episodes where I say, I'm going mining, you know, that mining I do is like over the course of an hour or two hours. And a lot of that time is spent with me just sitting at a pause screen like this. So, I mean, that's why I don't like mining. It's just it's just awful for, my, for me and my computer. When I upgrade my computer, maybe, maybe it won't be so bad. Okay, so other things I need. I need to finish off this thing. There's a lot of things I need to finish off. I need to get the cabling done as well for all these filtration machines, which is a pain. Um, let, let's get this done first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split one of these off and just shove it down here somewhere. Uh, so I know I've got an orange pipe. And then I'm going to do this and do that. Okay, now I can complete this process. Oh yeah, I'm dying of thirst. I got to deal with that. Um, that water should be sucked out of my furnace by now. Uh, but here we go. We've got we've got this system here. Um, that's all the green pipes I need for now. So 
Let's go orange for the rest. I'm dying. <laughs> I know I'm dying. Let me just uh, sort this out first. Yeah, that's fully evacuated. I can turn off. Oh gosh, I'm being stuck on things. Yeah, I have to think about where I want this furnace to be. I don't think I want it to be here all the time. 4.3 degree water, and I, I got quite a bit of it now. Uh, w once I've got like a proper room, I might make a, a water room. Where I, I keep my water at a low temperature in the water room. Let's uh, pull this up. I'm just going to fill my water here for now. I know this is kind of in the way, but yeah. I won't, I won't be making a greenhouse for a while, particularly with what I just did to my CO2 temperature. So, yeah. Okay, water needs are met. It took about 15 minutes. But I've got my water, I've got my solder. My atmospherics is all complete. That's 11%, that's 100%. I need to cook more of these potatoes as well. This should be full by now. Yeah, this should be full. I'll leave that other water bottle in there. Um, I'll cook potatoes afterwards. Let's, let's not die first. I'm stuck on the fridge, if you're wondering what I was doing just then. Okay, unlock helmet. Let's get a water bottle in my hand. Let's get some food in my hand. Let's uh, wait for this to evacuate. Good enough. Boom, boom. Open helmet. Just drink and stop that bleeding for now. Let's get a lot more of this in. Oh my god, the rate at which I'm going through these potatoes. I, I, I don't know. I, th I think I'm fine. I don't. I don't think I'm going to have a problem getting getting my next greenhouse up in time. Close helmet. Reverse this. Good. Get some air in here. Oh gosh. I don't know. I don't know if it's my computer or if the game isn't optimized, but you know, I, I get very choppy play sometimes. Where I just edge forward a little bit. And it jerk, you know, it teleports me forward, and it's very frustrating sometimes. I end up getting flung off of the side of buildings and stuff like that as well. Okay, let's uh, let's deal with this potato situation. Um, okay, I've got like 30 potatoes, so I'm actually okay for potatoes uh, for the time being. I'm not going to die for a while. Um, ideally, I'd like to find another trader. Um, and stick stuff in those cans in there, those empty cans. You know, a pumpkin would be fantastic. I would love a pumpkin. We'll just keep doing this for now. Just uh, fill our fill our fridge up with uh, freshly cooked food. I can't believe I ran out of potatoes that quickly. Potato, baked potato was just not a very efficient form of meal in this game. The canned foods are definitely the best. And pumpkin is just amazing. We're getting there, we're getting there. Bit of cooking. This is pretty quick. It's not, not too painful a process. While I'm doing this, I'm kind of thinking about what, what's the next project? What am I what am I gonna tackle next? I know I need more power. I know I have to figure out the wiring of my atmospherics. Um, I can't really go about the task of making my lunchroom bigger or having a proper atmosphere base until I have cold CO2, which requires power. It, it all just it all just comes down to power in the end. Ah, this is a problem. I think I'm finally going to put these away and I'll, I'll just use them later. They're just taking up valuable real estate in my fridge right now. And, yep, yeah, look at this. We've got a stack of potatoes right there and a fridge full of baked potatoes. Hopefully this lasts me a while. Um, okay, and we've got water all ready to go as well. Okay, all good, all good. We're looking good now. Um, okay, so yeah, the, the next thing is... The, yeah, the question is, what's the next project? 
it's got to be power. It's got to be upping my power array. Um, that that's got to be the thing that I got to do. Um, I mean, I mean, look at this. I'm just killing all my batteries. They're all just dying. I might actually make use of this uh, this line right here now, because uh, all my batteries are, are kind of full. I can I can keep charging my nuclear batteries like this. Uh, this has a nuclear battery in it, doesn't it? But it's 100%. It's fine. Um, yep. I think we go for the big solar panels, the um, the heavy solar panels. I think that's the next the next job, which means we're going to do a lot of building. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use this battery for my for my air conditioning operations. But yeah, it's really interesting that um, I, I hook all three batteries up and the air conditioner, you know, I seem to get free air conditioning. Whereas um, if, if I just do an individual battery, the battery just dies really quickly. Okay, we could also use that greenhouse battery as well to, to feed um, my air conditioners right now. Okay, so what's my oxygen air conditioner at? That's kind of important since uh, I need oxygen to live. Uh, it's almost 30 degrees. It's still not, not quite enough. I can buff this up with what I've got in the pipe right now. Uh, so that gets me to 9,000. So that'll last me a while. And I, I can keep doing that again. You know, The next batch I get will be like 5,000 or so. So I do have time before this is a problem. Um, once I get all this cooled... Oh god, what? No! Just wasting wasting water. I'm going to have to drink again in a moment. Um, 90 degrees, it's just taking too long. Uh, anyway, let's, let's do this. Unfortunately, that'll heat this up. Yeah, back up to 34 degrees, but it should cool down very soon, assuming my batteries don't die. I need another storm. That's what I need, another storm. Um, okay, am I doing anything with this furnace right here? No, I'm not. Okay, it's power. Power time. Let's start thinking about power. Okay, so one thing I'm going to need for power is a ton of steel frames. Luckily, I've already got them. A ton of steel sheets. Um, I might even I might use up the iron frames and iron sheets first, actually. Um, now, the sun goes, it rises there at 90, and it goes directly overhead. I just need vertical solar tracking, but I need a solar array. It might go over top of the windmill array, actually. Um, I need a, I need some, yeah, I need to figure out how to do this. Oh, one thing that, um, the heavy solar panels require is a ton of glass. So i got to watch my silicon levels here. Um... I won't need many more pipes for the time being. I might make two pipes. But I think it's like five glass a piece per heavy solar panel. I'm serious, five, like five glass. So, um, I, yeah, I can't build glass here. Let's get this out. I tried to cancel that, but uh, the game, like, jerked on me right, right at the moment where I tried to to do it. I got steel in there. Okay. My, my water situation is bad. I'm going to have to drink in a moment. Um, so what I want is I want a lot of glass. A ton of glass. I know I'm going to use it. So I'll just let that pile up and hope the storm doesn't hit. Oh, see, it just did it to me again. I just like teleported forward just from a slight little nudge on my mouse. Um, so what I'm, what I'm going for is I'm going for these. Solar panel heavy. I don't have to bother duct taping them then. You can see I can actually create like quite a lot. I'm probably going to get eight of them for now. Um, eight fives. That means I need 40 glass. I don't think I have enough silicon for 40 glass. Do I have any any silicon anywhere? I'm out of silicon. Okay, I need a lot more silicon. Um, so I think I'll make six of these. Are these being built? Yeah. Yeah, because look at this, they're, they're two they're two silicon apiece. Um, okay, so let's let's figure out how this um, how this array is actually going to go. Um, you know, I like structural integrity. I'm going to just stick it like over top of my current windmill array. I think, uh, like right in the middle. 
Um, I'm just wondering how how high do I want to be? I want to be well above those um, well above those windmills. So like like up here somewhere, don't I? Now is that going to make it to the mountain? I know this looks a bit strange what I'm doing. I'm just wondering if I can just connect it directly to the mountain rather than having a support. No, it looks like I'm going to miss the mountain. Okay, that that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Um, okay, so. Uh, we'll, ju we'll just make a structural support like right here or something. That'll do. And we'll just uh, head up like this. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm out of water. I need to go drink. And I want it... Let's go one higher. Let's, let's have them towering right above my base. And then go across like this. I'm actually going to rip all those up right there. I, I didn't actually want them there. I, I just... Uh, I just thought maybe I can connect it directly to the mountain, but uh, I think I think I think it's too far away. <laughs> Being a bit ambitious there, I uh, I don't have enough resources to make uh, the the amount of solar panels that I'm planning on making one day. Okay, so so this here is going to be my solar array right there. Um, and it's going to go like, it's going to keep going to the side and go down somewhere else. Really, I want it one over, don't I? Yeah, I want it one over, one over. Um, this may seem like a gross waste of power, but... Sometimes... Jetpack low? Okay, that's a problem. I need a jetpack filling station. Oh... I didn't keep track of that. I think I wanted it here. Yeah, yeah, I want it there. That's definitely it. That's definitely the place. And it's just a case of how high. My jetpack's getting low. I have to make a jetpack fueling station. But we're going to we're gonna tower right above the base. If the game would stop, like, jerking around like that. And, uh, and that should be fine. Oh, God. Jetpack low. Waste tank caution. Glass on the ground over there. This is fine, right? This is not interfering with my windmills. There's plenty of gap. Yeah, yeah, good. And we're going to go for this setup here. My jetpack's about to run out. That's what I just said, lady. Okay. Um, okay, let's go weld all these. We just need to single weld them. I'm dying. I, I need to drink badly. And my jetpack's dead. So, um, next project, jetpack fueling station. A proper one. Not just something I jammed together out of my furnace. Let's just get all these done. Go drink. Pick up that glass first, I think. My jetpack's going to cut out any second now. Like I said, any second, it cut out. I got them all done in time, though. Fantastic. There we go. Let's just not fall in a hole that I can't get out of, like that one. There we go. Must drink. Okay, so this is enough for six windmill, uh, six solar panels. Let's stop that and see how many we got. We got seven. We need more silicon. Ah. Oh, I've... What? Oh, we have eight. Why is there only 15 grams of astraloy left? I thought I had 150 astraloy. Well, what, what's going on here? 150 times 10. Like, 15 times 10 is 150. Yeah, I only got eight of these things. Did I mess up? Oh, it's over here. There we go. I was going to say. So I actually got nine of these things. Help. Yeah, I know. Um, we don't. Let's just make the last one. I'll have to get the glass for it later. How many of these things do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, all good. Um, I shouldn't have started that. Uh, no, if a storm hits while I'm in my room, I might destroy a very valuable solar panel. Okay, let's just drink. Ugh, back in here again. This time, though, I have a ton of potatoes, water, i got everything. I 
I'm living like a king. Yeah, I know jetpack flow. That's the next project. Unlock. We got a vacuum. I give it a few more seconds in case. Game jerked just as I did that. I give it a few more seconds just in case. Oops, sorry. Just bang my microphone. I hope that didn't make a loud sound. Sometimes there's trace amounts left, and uh, you give it that few extra seconds to get rid of those trace amounts. Um, I want more potato. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, 100%. Close. Reverse. Once again, those few extra seconds. Lock helmet. There we go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I know my jetpack's critical, silly lady. Um, well, I mean, we can get a little bit of juice here. Not much, just a little bit. 2488. Uh, but this should not be my jetpack fueling station. That that has to that has to stop. That has to end. That battery's dead again. Um, let's. Let's do this. We don't have enough cables anyway for what we're trying to do. And we'll, we'll connect this one this time. Okay, and continue on. Okay, let's just have a look at this. Here we go. Uh, oh, what am I stuck on now? <laughs> I'm just always stuck on something. Okay, this is a more manageable temperature. I like that. And this should be cooling down. Um, this is 22.5 in here. Did I leave that on? No. Just a coincidence. They both happen to be 22.5. Once this is down to like 15, I'm going to turn this switch back on again. <clears throat> um, yeah, my, my battery power is not doing too well. Hence why I've got this thing going. But uh, yeah, what we want now is we want a proper... Um, fueling station. So we're going to need pipes. We're going to need a pressure regulator. Yeah, we're going to need these things. Um, where are we going to put it? it? It doesn't actually matter where we put it as such. I mean, I could use one of the gases that I already have in one of my tanks. You know, like CO2 or something. Um, CO2 is the most sensible thing to use because the atmosphere, as you can see, is 93% CO2. Um, but this is kind of cold CO2. Like, well, you know, it's 100 degrees colder, more than 100 degrees colder than atmospheric temperature. So I don't want to waste it. I'd rather just set up a station somewhere, somewhere where I'm not going to be, you know, falling over things and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure where. Um, how about right here? No, that's no good. Um, ah. Out near my communications. No, I want it close to power. I don't know. I, I might stick it. Uh, I might stick it on the on the corner here somewhere. It's kind of in the walkway, but kind of not. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna just going to um. How, how should we do this? Yeah. I, mean, I could run it along the wall like that. I mean, th th this kind of works. Oh no, I'm, I'm, my canister is going to interfere, which reminds me, I need to get a canister storage. I might salvage the furnace one for now. Okay, we'll put our jetpack filling station. We'll just put it at the end here somewhere. Um, yeah, just like here. It, it's kind of in the way, but it should be okay. Um, so what we want is a pressure regulator pointing up like that, and we just, no, we just want to rotate it around like this. Fantastic. And then we want a, a pipe heading up, and that's just going to go to a canister storage. Um, really, I want it along the wall. Uh, yeah, I don't like this. So, yeah, sometimes you have to put something down and rip it up before you kind of know what you want to do. Um, I should have ripped that pipe up first. Not a very good use of... Yeah, okay, we're going to do that. This this is how we're going to do it. We're going to stick it in the wall here. And now we want it pointing up. There we go. 
And what we'll do is we'll, we'll curl this around um, like this, and we'll just have it on this wall here like that. And, and this here is just going to like capture gases. It's just going to be capacity. And I'll just run this pipe all the way as far as I can go. And then we'll just circle around like that. We'll stick an active vent here. We'll connect it up to that cable there. And we'll have a canister storage here. And this this cable will connect to there. So it, 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 I think that works. Oh, gosh. Click bug. Um, oh, I actually wanted this out. Um, now I can't find it again. Where did I put it? Okay, canister storage. You're going to go here. Which way is that pointing? I think that's right. There we go. And uh, this... Oh, with... Oh, I need a new active vent. That's what I need. Hydration critical. Gosh. Oh, everything's in here. Look at that. Is there an active vent? I can, I can scrounge. I could take one out of my greenhouse. But that's all named. I don't want to touch those. There's no active vents I can steal from anywhere, is there? Okay. Let's go make an active vent. Let's go through this process. We need gold, copper. We also need iron. Um, I've got iron in this machine because I was making paint before. So we don't have to wait for the full load of resources to come out. We do have to wait for a lot of them. We're waiting for gold and copper. There's the copper. There's the gold. Okay. Get in there. I'm going to pick all these things up just in case there's a, an early storm or something. Um, so with these solar panels, what am I missing? I'm missing Astraloy. And Astraloy is going to require steel. How much steel did I put in here? 100 grams. I could make I could make 100 Astraloy with that. Really what I want to do is a, a, big, a, big, um, a big mining run. Get a bunch more resources for, for steel and turn a like 500 steel into astraloy and just get 500 astraloy. How much uh, inconel do I have as well? 70. So um, you see these these solar panels require oh, they don't require any inconel, do they? It's the nuclear batteries that do. It's just astraloy. That's it. Um, if I make one more of these. I'll have exactly 400 steel, and I can use that 400 steel to make 400 astraloy. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. First things first, so we have a propellant problem to deal with. So we're going to deal with that first. Um, while I'm here and I've got iron ready, I could... Now, this furnace is basically getting retired. I mean, I'm not going to use any of this stuff ever again on this furnace. I'm just not going to use this, this, or this. Um, so I don't need a new active vent for my furnace. Okay, I pulled this out. Um, we got 50. We, the steel can go back there again. I want the copper in there so I can make that last solar panel. These things are just going straight back in. That is for pipes. This is for filters. Um... Yeah, and we'll make a heavy solar panel. Okay. Doing multiple things at once. I'm now dying of thirst as well. i got to deal with that. But I don't have to worry about that thing. I can go and stick this active vent here. Propellant problem is it's getting sorted. It's getting sorted. Just hope a storm doesn't hit while my solar panel's on the ground out there. Those things are expensive. They're storm-proof, but they're expensive. Okay, so that active vent there, I'm going to stick stuff into here. And uh, this thing here, um, I, I'm not going to bother getting my labeler because uh, this is just as quick as me running all the way back there for my labeler and all the way back again. Uh, propellant can be, it can actually be like 9500 because it's atmospheric temperatures. I don't have to worry about it heating up and blowing up. So we can do that. I, I could probably push it close to the limit actually, but yeah. Getting there, getting there, and we've got this, if we can find the right connection. There we go, and uh, we can turn this active vent on, get some gases in there. We can turn this on, get some gases in there. We don't need these guys anymore. Let's get that last solar panel picked up. We don't have enough glass for them. 
I definitely need to go mining and need silicon is my highest priority. Uh, but also, I would like some steel. Uh, I'm about to pull a bunch of stuff out of here. Okay, so we're looking for steel. When the steel drops, I end this. Steel. Damn, I was a bit late. Get these back in here. And I know I've got a hundred more steel in this machine here. I could make 500 astroloy, actually. I could use the 500 and the 400. I could uh, I could use both of them. Um, I, I'm still going to have to make a big batch of steel. I think I can use a stacker, actually, to uh, choose the amount of steel I want. But really, 500 astroloy would be great. Um, I'm just trying to think. 15, 90, 360... What does 15 go equally into? 150, 300, yeah. So 450 would be nice. Oh gosh, 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 gosh. I didn't even know it was high. Uh, I'm just going to keep 100 steel for now. And I'm going to make turn all this into astralite. We can turn this off. I have to turn this active vent off because uh, these pipes are going to blow up if I'm not careful. I can't run an active vent on a small number of pipes for a very long time. Oh, it's only 15 megapascals, actually. I could keep running it. There we go. Keep running, keep running. This is filling this up. When this pressure gets really high, I can um, I can use that to fill my um, jetpack, which would be great. Um, okay, so in order to process this steel, I'm going to need to get some atmospheric gases in here. I have segregated this, haven't I? So I could I could actually just process this steel very slowly, just chuck it in. Uh, what are the requirements for astraloy? I think it's, um, oh, I don't have to think, I can just oh, tab out, look at my furnace page. It's two steel, one copper, one cobalt. So if I'm putting in 400 steel, I need 200 copper, 200 cobalt. Well, um, do I have 200 cobalt and 200 copper? I've almost got 200 cobalt. Is that a stack of cobalt there? No, not quite. So I actually don't have enough. Okay, I've got the 200 copper. Look at this. I'm just missing the cobalt. That's it. Yeah, I just need to get a little bit of cobalt. So when I go out mining at the end of this episode, I'm going to pick up some cobalt and some silicon. Of course, I'm not going to be able to go mining for very long if my life is low. Ah, 33%. Okay, I need this inside my mining belt. Okay, yep, good. Let's go deal with the fact that I have no water. First, let's deal with the fact that I have no oxygen. What is this down to? Have I finally cooled it? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, I can boost that up a bit. No, let's boost the oxygen tank first. Ah, come on, let me through. Oh yeah, that's good. And, um, that's still too... Okay, we'll do the waste tank stuff afterwards. I, I want that pipe to fill up. Water, give me water. I was just in this room too, and I'm, I'm back in it again. It's just insane. Like, hunger hydration 2, stationary difficulty, that combination is just painful to play. That's why I prefer Season 2 to Season 3. Because uh, I can eat and drink anytime. But we'll see. We'll see how we go. I might be able to make my living conditions a bit better. Open helmet. Drink. Let's stop the bleeding. Let's get a bunch of food in me. Fantastic. Oh, do you hear that? That's my pipe blowing up. I left my active vent on. It's not blowing up, it's creaking because it's getting very high in capacity. Close helmet, quick, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. Stop, let's get some gas in here. I'm going to blow up my pipe, quick, before it blows up. Honestly, good enough. Quick, 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 quick. Stop, stop, stop. What is the pressure of this? 50 megapascals. Oh my god. 
It's actually okay. It's going to make a horrible creaking sound, probably for a very long time. But um, it'll eventually settle down when that when that um, pipe gets down below 40, which it will slowly do. I'm going to be using my jetpack a heck of a lot, so I'm just going to have to put up with that horrible sound for a while. What's my heat tank? That's my atmospherics. <laughs> okay, all good, all good. I've now got a, a jetpack that's decent. Um, one thing I wanted to do was get some atmosphere in here. I need to get cobalt and silicon and all that sort of stuff. This was cut, which is good. This is off, which is good. Let's get um, some stuff in here. Output, no! That was a mistake. I left the output on. So a lot of that's just gone straight back out again. Oh, it should be okay, because I've connected the input and output together, so it should be okay. Um, so let's just get some gas in here now. Oh, did... Yeah, okay, nothing escaped, because it was turned off. Silly me. Um, okay, let's stop this. We'll keep sucking gases in there. Let's just chuck this steel in there. No, let's chuck the copper in first. Because the copper will all get done in time. Steel will cool the uh, furnace right down. Okay, I'm at the 46 minute mark. I'm about to actually end this episode. I just want to have this steel processing, basically, while I'm out mining. Uh, I want to buff my oxygen tank up as well. Okay, let's get steel in there. Oh, actually, we can get we can get some of this cobalt in here as well. We just need uh, like 14 cobalt, I think it is. And with my sensor lenses, I should be able to find that no problem. Which reminds me, I should put a nuclear battery in my sensor lenses. I've only got a large battery in there. Okay, next slot to go in will be my steel. Um, I got all these solar panels and things. I got all these things I want to do. Okay, this will take a long time to process. Um, I'll have to deal with this solar panel situation next episode, along with the glass. And uh, this is for more infrastructure if I need it. These iron sheets can be semi-retired. I've got more glass. i got 44 sheets of glass here. Okay, I don't need more silicon. Well, I do because I used it all up. But I've actually got tons of silicon. Okay, yeah, I'm silly. I didn't even bother to check to see if I had any glass. I'm sure everyone watching was probably screaming at the screen, there's glass in your locker. I know I would have been anyway. Um, this is almost completely done. Ready for... Yeah. I forgot to put these away as well. Waste tank caution. I want to empty my waste tanks. I want to fill out my oxygen tank first, so... Just housekeeping duties. I should top up my water as well before I go, but uh, I'm not going to bother. I just need a little bit of cobalt now and a little bit of silicon. And that's all the mining I'm going to do. This should be like 10 degrees now. 12 degrees. Okay. Waste tanks emptied. Let's get out of here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Love a proper filtration system. It just sucks out the gases so quickly. So good. All these filtrate, all these things working at once. This battery needs replacing. Not replacing. It needs to be moved. Okay. Um, I don't have enough heavy cables on me to do this. And for some reason, this game is lagging like crazy. I might actually. Oh, where's my extra heavy cables? I just put them in there, didn't I? I might actually re reset my computer before I uh, play anymore. You can see all the choppy play that I'm dealing with. It's uh, very uncomfortable. Oh, see, I, I'm trying to click and drag on stuff, and the click isn't registering. It's just, like, crazy. Yeah, this temperature went up. This pipe is now a little on the hot side, but it, it's okay because this is going to cool very fast. And I need to drink one more time, and then I can finally go mining. Uh, okay, everyone, um, I'm not going to make you watch me drink water and stuff, so I'm going to end the episode here. 
just remember to turn my beacon on before I go mining. Um, so yeah, just thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, it's uh, it's been interesting. Oops, yeah, choppy play. It, this is becoming unbearable. But uh, uh, after I reset my computer, hopefully everything will be running really smoothly next episode. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, bye for now.